Dr. Katie Townsend doesn't have a 300-pound cat on her operating table every day. Essentially like 30 times as big as a house cat. But she knows what to do. Doctors at Oregon State University's veterinary hospital helped save Choby the lioness's life. Choby had a common infection in her uterus. So it's definitely life-threatening. But this surgery is nothing compared to Choby's life before this. In 2018, she was rescued from Joe Exotic's Big Cat theme park in Oklahoma, made famous by the Netflix series Tiger King. And they had a golden opportunity and they totally missed the mark. Ian Ford's family runs the Wildcat Ridge Sanctuary in Scotts Mills, Oregon. He says the dramatic docuseries highlighted some real issues for big cats kept captive in the U.S., but the scandalous characters distracted from the real work being done elsewhere to rehab cats. What's the big picture? Okay, so if you saw Tiger King, it's nothing like that. Uh, they're all a bunch of clowns, and, and so it's you kind of start from a position where you have to sort of backtrack. For us, you know, we don't care about any of that stuff. It's it's about what's going on with the animals. One step forward, two steps back. Pretty much, yeah. Dr. Townsend is a close resource to the sanctuary. They call themselves like a retirement home for like animals who have been like abused in the past or something like that. More than a dozen big cats live there, unable to go back into the wild. The sanctuary is also close to the public and recently survived Oregon's wildfires. Fortunate doesn't even really begin to encompass really how we feel. <laughs> So surgery was just a blip for Choby, who made it through with flying color. She's uh, recuperating. She's eating. Uh, she's irritated that she can't get out of her crate yet. Recovery will take a couple weeks. My hope for her is she just lives a wonderful, like happy little chirping life, you know, out there with her sister. And after all Choby's been through, a big cat nap is just what the doctor ordered. I'm Galen Etlin for KGW News.